meiner Hinz Grandad. Hello everyone, in this episode, Adia will be tiling the kitchen. So we've got all the worktops um, protected, um, covers put on all of them. I sealed the plywood with a sealer that we'll also use in the... Um, Tile adhesive. Yeah, in the adhesive. Um, but for this purpose, I used it for the, the primer. The ply. Yeah. yeah. Here I've made a template just to find the the right size for the hole where the porthole is. Um, so all I've done is put a piece of paper over the hole, pressed my finger around the edge of the ply um, that's done a print around the edge, drew round it, made some holes in the paper and just put our backer board up to the paper and then just drew the line uh, down so we know where that backboard is going to come on that circle. Template on. So the other way. way. So now we've got all the boards cut to size, we could start uh, attaching the boards to the wall. If you've watched our previous vlogs, you'd have seen this same board being used when we fitted out the shower. Um, it's a company called Weddy, and it's like a foam board. It's um, cement resin with like fiberglass mesh inside it, and it's designed for waterproofing uh, as a backer board for tiling. So yeah, it's a it's a tried and tested thing, and, and we're really pleased with the outcome in the shower. So we've carried on in the kitchen. I've used a flexible tile adhesive to uh, stick the boards to the plywood. Um, and it's also, as well as being flexible, there's fibre strands in there, so it's sort of not doubly flexible, if you like, but it's got a bit of extra flex in there, so any movement, it should compensate for that movement on the, bo on the boat. We're also using screws and washers, but I'll go into a bit more detail of that later on.
all our workings out, all our designs, all our arguments have put on that wall. <laughs> arguments how to do things. Heated debate. <laughs> That's what they call it. Yeah, all our heated debates are behind that wall. <laughs> I will. Yeah. yeah. No evidence now because I've covered it all over. So we're using a mixture of the fixing washers. Um, we've got some round ones which are the weddy ones that are left over from the shower and then we've brought these square ones that are much cheaper. I don't know what these ones are called, are they? STS. bond the joints between each board and um, they supply a mesh that comes on a roll it's got like one side a self-adhesive so you you stick that on between each joint and then you, uh, you can bond it with tile adhesive but because it's like self-adhesive I've decided just to stick them onto the board um, it just makes that joint a bit stronger between each board so uh, now that's in place I can get on with the tiling and as you're gonna see in a, in a while it ain't just normal tiling because Ailey's designed it. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's a little bit different. So we do like a challenge, but yeah, the outcome was nice. But yeah, it wasn't. I laid it all out for you to make it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you did. But yeah, it was so easy. gone for a off-white tile um, really because as you walked into the boat there was a, a lot of pattern on the worktops and there's also going to be a lot of pattern on the floor um, we're having a, a wooden uh, like herringbone style on the floor so originally I would have liked coloured pattern tiles but they were it was just going to be too busy so we've gone completely for plain and then we change the design uh, sort of like quarter of the way up yes. third of the way up third of the, third way, of up. the way up that's all right it might be <laughs> <laughs> might be a bit less might be a bit more yeah might be
took the best part of the day to just to fit these three rows of tiles each side of the galley. Um, it was just because there's a lot of cuts as you can see going around the sockets. I'm marking all the tiles so that all the cut edges finish on the inside of the white uh, electrical patrices. Um, Is that what they're called? Yeah. Boxes? You're just back boxes, back boxes or patrices, yeah. Okay. Um, and the reason for that is um, when the sockets go on the front, it hides all that white edge of the uh, the back box. So it gives, just gives it a nice finish on the, all the way around the socket. There's no sort of edges to seal or whatever. I also find that uh, using the diamond edge blade in the angle grinder gave a really nice cut on the edge of the tiles rather than using the cutter. Because I wasn't allowed to cut any tiles inside the boat, um, I had to keep going up and down the steps every time I needed to cut a, a one tile or two tiles. So, um, yeah, I must have uh, done all my steps that day, I'm sure. Three down, only another... 300 to go. Yes. <laughs> more than that, I think. This finished edge on the right um, hasn't got to be sort of bang on accurate and perfect because it is actually going to be hidden, uh, it's going to be boxed over. Just as he took a big sigh of relief that he'd finished that side, 
he realised he's got the other side to do. Wicked. This side was a bit quicker because I, I sort of knew what I was doing. Yeah, sort of. Well, yeah, sort of. <laughs> By this stage, um, my legs had turned to tile dust white. And they are my legs, they're not just bits of thread hanging out the bottom of a pair of shorts. Funny this morning though, um, because he was hot, he chopped the legs off his trousers. Um, and as I was watching him, he kept putting things in his pockets. Um, but he'd forgot that he'd actually chopped his pocket in half. So I kept seeing everything falling on the floor. The more he put them in, the more it was falling out. camera actually makes it look like they're in a curve those electric sockets but they're not they are straight honest That's the pattern we're going for. Herringbone shape, but just a strip across the top of the flat ones. See how it goes. Only one way to find out, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go. I'm working with a bunch of amateurs here. As I'm trying to do this voiceover, Aidy's eating a great big piece of Stilton and not doing his line. <laughs> I'm hungry. Told you, wasn't going to be easy. Because we wanted to avoid a uh, plastic or metal trim going between the two different shapes of tile um, we're buffering them up um, what is that called that is, is it just a, a buffer it's like a tile sander isn't it it's on a block yeah it's got like a rough side and a smooth side so and it just um, it just flattens that edge down doesn't it so it's more like a fired edge my son's a tiler and uh, he's the one who told us to use it <laughs> We never heard of it before yeah. today.
this point, I was beginning to lose the will to live. <laughs> yeah, but all you've got to do is all the, the little pieces now. Yeah, and then that's, uh, that bit on that side, then two bits on the other side, so that's <laughs> three more lots. And then round the window. And then round the window. Easy. When we Okay, that noise in the background isn't nanny on the toilet. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually our, our neighbour in the boatyard and banging about and making a bit of noise. <laughs> <laughs> I finished the steel with them on the biscuits, sorry. <laughs> By this point you can see I got it really cheesed off for this job, so I was just sticking anything on the top. <laughs> seriously now yeah them bits of tiles they're just for um, a guideline for where two tiles will finish. finish yeah so we can put a plumb line at the top so we can work our way across the window there was a bit of a difference between this side and the other side about three or four mil and uh, so going across the window we lost it on each tile, yeah. tiny little bit, yeah. um, until till it was okay. I think the string was faulty though. <laughs> yeah. you, you kept lifting up the string till it where you wanted it. I was to never go. good at brick laying. <laughs> just the top row to do now and we can cut them on the tile cutter because the edge won't be seen uh, be hidden by the ceiling because the edge with this tile cutter on these tiles just chip the glaze slightly so uh, that's why we didn't use it on the, the other pieces <laughs>
just shows you how long this job's taken. I think I must have had four different changes of wardrobe. You'll also notice that the windows have been taken out. We've taken them out to prepare all the paint underneath the windows ready for the painting outside. Those of you that watch any other narrowboat fit out uh, vlogs, um, you might recognise someone in this next uh, bit. Thanks for liking. <laughs>
been a real challenge to get this grout on. Um, the weather has been so hot and um, it's just dry as soon as that you pull it on. So doing little areas and then cleaning it up as quick as you can really. It's the only way that we've been able to do it.